Hello, I'm Alex, and in this video guide, I'll show you how to use this rigged ecrochet model in Blender. The intention of this model is to showcase all the major muscles of the human body and their connection to bones. This model was designed for artists as a visual reference to better understand the human anatomy, and not just on a surface level, but it will provide you a deeper understanding on how the muscles and bones interact with each other. Just a note, this video was recorded in Blender 4.22 LTS, so some interface or certain options may look different in other versions. So I'll get started with the walkthrough, and first of all I want to point out that this model is fairly low poly, consisting of only about 66,000 triangles. You can see the wireframe is very low poly, and this includes both the muscles and the skeleton. So this scene should run smoothly on any computer. This model has two texture variations. One is color-coded, and another one is a regular muscle texture. So, in the shader editor, you can simply switch out the texture by plugging it into the base color. This is what the regular muscle texture looks like. And this one will be the color-coded version. So you can simply switch it out based on your preference of how the muscles should look. Also, just to note that each part of the body is modeled separately and is named accordingly. So in the outliner you can see that uh, there are groups of bones and groups of muscles. So you can hide them like so, or you can hide just individual part of uh, the model by pressing H on the keyboard. And to unhide everything, you just press Alt and H. So let's go ahead and activate the rig. To do this, we'll need to click on the rig itself, and in this menu, we'll go to the pose mode. So if we go from top to bottom, there's, there's a muscle bulk activation slider, which will make the model more muscular. And the other one is the muscle shrink option, which uh, will put the muscles into a cable-like state and will expose all the underlying structure and see how the muscles are connected. Next we have is the jaw control, and this can be activated by pressing R on the keyboard. This is a simple control. Just uh, use the rotation tool. You can move it side to side or open it like so. And to reset to the original state, you can press Alt-R on the keyboard. The spine controls are broken up into three sections, the cervical, thoracic, and the lumbar. The head movement is controlled by the cervical part of the spine. You can move the, the head left to right, or side to side, or front to back. The ribcage is controlled by the thoracic portion of the spine, and it's also activated with the rotation tool, Press R on the keyboard, move left to right, front to back, or along the axis. To reset to the original state, you can press Alt-R on the keyboard. And similarly, the lower torso is controlled by the lumbar portion of the spine, which is this control here. Alt-R to reset. Finally, the root of the torso is the hip control, which can be rotated or moved. R to rotate, and to move you can press G on the keyboard, and it can be moved with the move tool like so. And to, if you want to reset the pose, you can go to Pose, Clear Transforms, and All. Next we have the arms controls. And this is an IK control, so you can move it around with the move gizmo or by pressing G on the keyboard. So you can move it around like so. And you can also activate the symmetry by pressing this X button. And now the pose will be adjusted symmetrically. As you can probably tell, there's automatic shoulder uh, adjustment when the arms are moved. And this is the shoulder adjustment. If you need to control it manually, you can also move it up and down or left to right. Once again, to reset our model to the original state, we can press A for all the controls and clear transforms all. Next we have is the wrist control and can be also activated with the rotation tool. And also there is a clench fist control to control all the fingers. Or you can actually 
use the individual controls to control just the particular bones of the hand. Finally, the legs also have the IK control and can be posed with the move tool by pressing G on the keyboard. So you can move it left to right, front to back, or like this. And similar to the fingers control, the toes also have the curl option, which can be rotated. You can rotate them all at once, or you can move them around individually as well. The ankles can also be rotated with this tool. They will rotate like this and front, front to back, but they don't really rotate laterally for the ankle to rotate, well, for the foot to kind of rotate outwards. There's this control which comes more from the shin bone and that's how it's uh, controlled. And last thing to note is that there are these poles here which control the knee direction and on the arms there's the elbow direction which are controlled by these triangular shapes. Once again to reset the whole model we can press A on the keyboard to select all the controls of the rig, go to pose mode, clear transforms and all. Or you can have shortcuts for location, rotation or scale which is Alt R, Alt, Alt, -R, Alt G and Alt S. So I'll just hit all and it will go to the default position. Lastly, I want to show you the transparency option, which can be useful. So we'll go to the object mode first. We'll click on one part of the body. And if we go to the material settings under the surface tab, there's the alpha option, which can show you uh, a better view and make the muscles uh, see through, which may be helpful to understand the underlying muscles even further. So you can control how much transparency you have with this alpha slider. Okay, so this concludes the introduction and I hope this model will serve you well on better understanding the human anatomy or in any other projects that you may decide to use it in. If you have any further questions about this model or if you have any su suggestions about how it can be improved, please let me know in the comments. Have a great day.